it's not uncommon to be using a BIA scale to be in a calorie deficit, to lose some weight. And, you know, maybe it's the start of a diet. You've lost five pounds, six pounds, something like that. And your BIA scale say, says, oh, hey, like you've only lost six pounds, but guess what? Four of those were muscle. And then you say, oh, shit, that's bad. I've barely lost any weight. I'm, al I'm already just shedding lean mass, not losing much fat at all. This is going catastrophically bad. And that's based on the assumption that the same day reliability of BIA extrapolates to uh, like reliably tracking changes over time. But the reason it's probably not going to do that is because of basically the way BIA works. So um, like muscle uh, and, and lean tissue in general tends to be better hydrated than fat tissue is. Like it has more water content. Uh, and so it, it's basically trying to pick up on water content and, and use that to extrapolate body composition. And so let's say you start a diet, you go into a caloric deficit that's probably going to come with a reduction in carbohydrate intake, uh, you know, and you lose a little muscle glycogen. That decreases the, the hydration of muscle tissue. BIA is going to pick up on that as a loss in lean mass and a smaller reduction in fat mass than actually happened. Uh, and so, yeah, it's going to say you lost a lot of muscle. You didn't actually lose a lot of muscle. You just lost some of the water content in your muscles, but BIA has no way of knowing that. Uh, and also, since a BIA scale is just passing that electrical, electrical current through your legs, it can't know what's happening in your upper body. So, you know, maybe based on what it can see, the body composition of your legs looks about the same. Um, but maybe you're losing a ton of abdominal fat or visceral fat or fat off of your upper body. There's literally no way for your BIA scale to know that that's happening. And it's just going to look and say like, well, you know, I'm, I'm seeing about the same resistance to this electrical current in the legs. So eh, it doesn't seem like body comp is changing all that much. You know, maybe similar amounts of muscle and fat is being lost. That's not the case. Uh, but the the technology itself has no way of picking up on that um so yeah like it, bia scales might be might give you repeatable measurements on the same day but due to the limitations of the technology it is probably not going to reliably tra track changes in body comp over time or tell you particularly reliably how much fat versus muscle you're losing uh in a deficit or how much fat versus muscle you're gaining in a surplus same day reliability and reliably tracking changes over time similar concepts different things bia scales are pretty good at the former not so much at the latter so um yeah if if every indication is that your diet is going well you know your your performance in the gym seems to be keeping up you don't visibly look in the mirror like you're shedding a ton of muscle, but your scale says, oh man, you're down six pounds, but you've already lost five pounds of muscle. Just ignore it. It, it. it is giving you a very rough estimation of changes. It is not measuring changes. And that's a, that's a very important distinction. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I personally think that uh, body fat percentage estimates from BIA scales are are less than worthless um because if they end up being correct it's pretty much by chance and if they end up tracking changes in body composition uh reliably and correctly that's also more or less by chance um <laughs> like there so i i don't think they give you reliable enough correct information to actually be useful but there's a very high chance that they're going to give you information that will mislead you about what's actually going on. So, you know, you, you don't get anything beneficial from it. It might fuck with your head. Uh, I personally think you should just ignore it. And if you have a smart scale that is supposed to uh, assess your body fat percentage, you generally have to stay stepping on it a little bit longer before it will actually take that measurement. Just wait until the weight number comes up, record that, step the fuck off the scale. You, like, don't, don't even look at the body fat percentage number. It is not telling you anything valuable.